This is where they had the Indian detours. So they hired what they called the uh, couriers. These were young women that had been college educated and they were educated in all kinds of architecture, wildlife, and different kinds of things they were gonna see on the tour. They would stand here in front of this map and, and talk about where they were gonna go the next day. The band would be playing up here in the bandstand. <laughs> Had drivers. You have pictures of the drivers. On the back side. She's got Look on the back side. Oh, okay. Drivers drove the <laughs> leather seated limousines that had swivel seats, cool. mm -hmm. and everybody would ride in style on these detours. The detour would charge about forty-five dollars for two nights and three days. Back then, that good. yeah, that was that was pretty expensive. You multiply that by fourteen, you know about what the equivalent is today. So it was around six fifty, six hundred and fifty dollars wow. for a three day tour. So very wealthy people normally went on these tours. So that was that was how this came about. They would drive out to the Pueblos. Indian people love to see these couriers with all this Indian made silver, the squash blossom necklaces and uh, poncho belts. They would see that and they said, Well, we want to dress like they are. So they would buy a lot of the silver. They'd buy a lot of the pottery, and so they became a really important part. In fact, right. And Fred Harvey wanted to make sure that all of it wasn't expensive, so they wanted to make sure we had something for every tourist. And so a lot of this was beat really thin. This one right here was a, about 1930 piece, made out of a silver dollar, and they beat it really thin. I've been looking at you. Yeah, <laughs> and so they beat it really thin. That was the way they made out of coin silver they made the first Indian jewelry. Wow. And so